He was a guy that always would be the first person to ring you when you had an injury, and you know, whether you pulled up sore from training or something, he'd always be the first person to ring. He, he sort of cared more about other people than about himself. Like, I remember my first game, he, he was so wrapped that I got that I got a game. He was, I remember he was talking about it for the next couple of days, and uh, he's probably more excited when I got my first game than when he did. As those days kept on, kept on going and going, it was uh, becoming more and more apparent that, we, that the likelihood was that we weren't going to. Find the him. Melbourne and Essendon Football Clubs honour Troy Broadbridge and David Meeks can now lead their respective teams. Hear stories about people, um, you never think that it's going to happen to someone that's close to you. So the fact that uh, it's happened to one of, you know, basically one of our brothers, you know, we spend nearly every day with each other, um, you know, it's pretty hard to take. But, um, yeah, it seems. Yeah, not so long ago that he was here with us. Not, not that your mates retired or your or mates left the footy club, but he's left your life. We know that Troy, he's, he's still with us, um, looking down on us and, and wanting us to um, to achieve as much as we can. I'm trying to think what Troy would do, he'd, he'd give it and give it his all and, and, uh, and wouldn't have any regrets when he came off the field. Some things get a bit tough, you sort of... You know, you think about about Troy, and, and you think, no, you don't, you don't want to give up, not, not uh, under any circumstances. I've got to really play this year for Troy and and live my life for Troy now. You know, you always wish you had you know, another, always that last goodbye, I suppose. And, and um, you know, you could probably tell someone what you think of them, and, and some, unfortunately, sometimes you don't get to do that knowing that most likely he would have been out there out there with us running onto the ground for that first game and uh, yeah I really don't know what's going to be going through my mind. Troy's always going to be there in spirit, but I suppose in a way this is their final goodbye to Troy. But the support and how they're going to tribute Troy just makes me proud that I was so close to him and that he made such an impact on all these people.